five. Three, two, one. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 29 of Hair of the Dogcast. I'm one of your hosts, Tom Wagner, Tom. and I'm here with Josh Miller. Josh, it's good to see you. You too. Hi, hey, Josh. Tom. You what? Oh, hi. Hey, guys, we got our friend in the house. We have a special guest. He's very nervous, so don't make fun of him too much. He just let us know he's really, yeah. really nervous. Can, can you tell Sweating. me when we go on the internet? Because I, wa- I want to make sure I'm ready. You Dan. are the internet, we're Danny. Out, we're, we're on the internet. Okay. We're live. Hello. We're live right Hi. Ladies and gentlemen, Danny J. Danny J. Danny, 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 Danny J. Woo! Thank keep it up for the much. man. Welcome to the place. Yeah. Coming to you live from the internet. Yes. Welcome to the yeah. podcast, Dan. All right. Thanks for having me today. Yeah. It's very excited to be here. Always a pleasure. It's about time we got you got you on. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah. you for having me. I'm a little disappointed that you had uh, Mr. Sonic Clang on oh. before you had oh, me on. Brian. But, yeah. I mean, he is more, like, video games are more dear to him. It was our Doom cast, so we yeah, had... Yeah, you had to. He, was he, a, he kind of was the Doom, a doom a sewer, the connoisseur yeah. of the, the Doom. So we had the, to... The doomy yeah. woomy. Yeah. But nothing against choice. you. Yeah, I mean, thank you. I appreciate that. We still love you yeah. for the most part. Yes, um, thank you. I, I love both you guys. Thanks. Real. Anyway, Hair the Dog Cast is a podcast about video games and beer. beer. Or beer and games, and we drink beer on this podcast, which is what we're going to do right now. And we have something from uh, the East Coast. Uh, from the PA? Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Oh, shit. I've been Ooh. there. I don't remember a thing. I've worked there. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So we got a Yingling Lager. It's a known beer that people like. Yingling. I think it's like it, the Miller the Miller High Life of Pennsylvania. It's a freaking uh, lager. It is. But it, I'd rather have it than any Miller, Coors, yep. Bud, Bush product. And, sure. And the thing is, is we can't get it here in Wisconsin. Yeah, so. So people, have it. it's like the new Let's Glarus have beer. Right, Let's have some. I have a question. Are we going to be in trouble for, for drinking this? In don't tell anybody. Okay, because I, I just fun. don't... Tell the cops. The cops will yeah. arrest Because I, I just get nervous about... Here, that. have okay. some beer. Thank, thank, All right. <laughs> Yingling. Yingling. Yeah. Toasting our East Coast brothers and sisters. Yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, yo. You got it so got good. Yingling. Yo, yo. <laughs> bing, bing. Bam, bam. All right. Toast some beer, guys. Yep. God, it's great. <laughs> so good. It's I like that. I it's like that. I don't know anything about beer, but I, but I want to say if this is what a Yingling is, I like the Yingling. Yo, he loves it. Yo, yeah. he likes Yo. it. It's good job. The Yingling cherry has been lot. popped. <laughs> We're just gonna sit here and drink this. So, Josh, what's new, man? Oh, baby, did you watch the fight last night? I did. Oh, he did. I watched the fight last night. Yeah, all eighteen of them. Oh yeah, that's yes. right. I, wow. There was quite the undercard. I, uh, but uh, no, I I'm not a I'm not a boxing guy. I think the last fight I ever ordered was the uh, Tyson Holyfield fight with the whole um, ear. Oh wow! Being dismembered. That would have been a good one to watch yeah. live, huh? So I had uh, I never watched MMA, MMA either. You know, I'm although I'd like to, just never got into it. But something about this fight just I piqued my curiosity, and I think it did for a lot of people. Indeed, with the amount of yeah. people that fucking. You know, yeah, put money the bar into was it. pretty uh, bartending last night. The bar is pretty dead. Was I guess it? the whole town was kind of dead. Like, I'd like yeah. to see the numbers on this, you guys. I'd like to see the numbers, but I would say, would this have been probably the, the most biggest successful. fight ever with non fight sure. watchers? Yeah, yeah definitely. It could be. I would yeah. say, yeah, I think like, a lot of you get a lot of MMA fans that uh bought the fight out of you know support for Connor, right? MMA has a bigger fan base by far, I'd say, than boxing. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah. These days, absolutely. Not that I care, but uh, yeah, MMA yeah. is huge. So, yeah, um, a lot of people just curious tuning in too. You know, get a bunch of people together, yeah. like people that aren't fans of either one. That, I, that's you know, a, I mean, that would be me. Yeah, yeah, I mean, exactly. I just wow. wanted to see like how is this gonna work? You know, yeah. and uh, or is it gonna be like look staged? I thought it was gonna be horrible. But it wasn't it that was a bad. Good, yeah, it was a good fight. No. I, I told people, like, it was a decent fight. It was decent. It was um, a decent um, fight. There wasn't, like, a huge, it, huge spectacle outside of, like, the actual fight itself. But, I mean, you know, it wasn't explosive, like, anything crazy happened. You know, it was a yeah. good fight. Went well, uh, when 10 it rounds. When started so. out, Connor was winning. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. First three rounds, yeah. But then yeah. he could 
you could just see the fatigue set in, you know, just the way his shoulders were just, like, slumping. Yeah. Well, what they say he's never gone – he wins in a couple rounds, generally. Yeah. Right? yeah. They said he, like, never would go past 25 – he never went past 25 minutes in any match ever. And then, you know, once he hit mm-hmm. the 25-minute mark, you know, you could well, tell. it's a like, different game completely, yeah. yep. you know? Yeah. But uh, very entertaining. Very entertaining. So, no, yeah. So that, good. Good. I, it did, to me, I thought it was going to be a stage-rigged fight. Yeah, no, it wasn't. The only I think the only the staged ending. thing was po- possibly the ending. I think there might have been a directive where like, let's do everything in our power to make sure none of these guys get knocked out, either one, or like you know really? if we can like keep them from hitting the mat. It's kind of seemed that way because uh, you know they stopped the, the ref stopped the fight. I really mm-hmm. wanted to see a knockout. Yeah, yeah, and even McGregor said like, "Take me fucking down. Yeah. Why did you take me to the mat? You know, like <laughs> why did you stop me? How'd that go?" Take me to the mat. Take me to the mat. Take a fuck. Yeah, Take I saw. I saw. I, shit. I saw the end. You know, on on the internet, and it didn't look like McGregor was like. He took some good hits, though. He did look a he, little yeah. wobbly. But I'd like yeah. to give a shout out to all the Instagrammers that were uh, live streaming. Thank you, so I could watch <laughs> it. The did anybody post any Steve Harvey Harvey memes? Because he was sitting like right behind, like where the main camera was, nice. so you could just like see Steve Harvey like fucking twittering and stuff and so we were just making jokes like someone has to have a meme where they announce mayweather is the winner but steve harvey's like tweeting out that mcgregor <laughs> won so. do you think this opens up the door to other kind of mixed matches like we've got like I I hope maybe so. mayweather will come back and this time he'll have to fight like we uh, all think he want to fight a walmart brent Favre. <laughs> like any yeah like no, 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 you want to see mayweather take uh, mcgregor on in the cage and yeah oh yeah, McGregor yeah would probably kill him right yeah you know i mean oh two, for sure they're yeah, two yeah. athletic beasts in their game and they just win and dominate in their own but i mean may if mayweather landed one of those strikes in the with those tiny gloves yeah, he, he could win a UFC fight against McGregor. Yeah, heck yeah. But uh, yeah, it was it was a good fight. Um, and uh, who else I saw mean, the fight? What were your opinions? They're all wrong. Okay. <laughs> there's no right or wrong opinions, Josh. But, okay. They're but all yeah, wrong. let us know if you watched a fight <laughs> or uh, if you even if you didn't, if you refused to, let us know uh, how much you hated the whole idea of fighting. You know, the if pugilism. McGregor would have won, boxing would have been completely. Dead. It's the sweet science. That's true. If McGregor would have won. It's just they they play in the squared circle. Yeah. Oh, you but that's all know. I know. Okay, so that was a fight. <laughs> um yeah, outside of fights and fighting. Um That's all I do, Tom. Have have you have you done anything fun doing fun? things? Uh, have you been doing been working? Tom's a lot. G- Tom's going through puberty, you know, voice cracks a little bit. Oh, this is the Golly. coming out at the show. So, uh, it's the pure puberty episode. Yeah, you know, you're going to experience some changes episode, guys, in your body. 29. You're I... going to be curious about your body. My Things chest feels might... lumpy. Yeah, that is all part of puberty. Okay. I've yeah. probably done some shit, man. I've probably done some things. Yeah. Well, please discuss. <laughs> Divulge them. I really, I, I haven't done shit. I've been really? working a lot. Uh, yeah. Played some games, though. Josh. Hmm? You've played games. Ah, yes. I obtained a game in which the internet went a little pissy about. Oh. Hey, Twitter, are you mm. out there? What game is that? Well, a lot of you Twitter folk are a little uh, anal that you didn't get the limited run copy of oh, Wonder you're Boy. Fucking, you're fucking Wonder Boy. I got well, a fucking Wonder Boy, to the fucking but you probably didn't. But I got one. Uh, yeah. Wow, Wonder good job. 73. They have a cool uh, reverse art, which is like the ma- Master System artwork. I've heard a lot of good things about that. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's fun. Is Side it, scroller adventure. Is it a straight up remaster or a remake? I'm not actually sure because I never played the original. Okay. So, but with I'll, password save. With password, <laughs> it has. Well, that's important. Password right? save. Just like the old days. Yeah. Get out the pen and paper. Make yeah. sure your J doesn't look like an I. Uh oh. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Those your yeah. fucked. Same I'm looking at book. you, fucking Metroid. Oof. Oof. Yeah, it's a fun side scroller. It's definitely Nintendo hard, although it's like a Master System. But can I take a look at that? Yes, have some looks. Um, And you can push the the center PlayStation button, uh, that big button on the middle top, whatever the hell it's called. Is this Monster? Hey Tom, does that button on the on the PlayStation Four controller does it have a name? 
the big centerpiece? Yeah, I don't know what it is, the, though. It's called the button Big Mama. The big button. So you the push, big big, button you wipe, push yeah. Big Mama, and then it goes from like the updated graphics, uh, all clean-like, to the 8-bit style, old-school looking. And you can change the music to 8-bit, too. Well, that's it's, that's clever. It's that's fun. Clever. It's cute. Yeah, it's adorable. Clever, uh... It's it's a hard game. Yeah. It's hard, but it's fun. As so many of the and games keep were. Are you going to finish yeah. it? I don't know. The world needs to know. I'd like to. Yeah. Yeah. You should do that. Yeah. Because uh, I I love the uh, I love the Master System art on the uh, the cover. I'll have to borrow it to you. Uh, it's so it's, cool. It's fun. Man, those limited edition guys or limited run. They know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, there's a lot of hate because they're games. There's like the ones like this, Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy! Uh, and Night Trap just sold out. This sold out in like two minutes. Night Trap sold out in uh, 20 seconds, apparently. Oh, wow. So that means you didn't get one. That means I didn't get one. Is what I'd be saying if it weren't true. Is that right? I'm not following if you. It, <laughs> yes. If it yes. were true. We... <laughs> did get two copies. I got a copy, and this guy's getting a copy. Fuck yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. We got two copies Dana coming. Plato. And a Dana lot Plato's of Plato's going to be in my PS4. Aren't. Yeah. Woo. I'm, we're still waiting. It's not in the mail yet. That's... I can't believe you got a copy, let alone two, two copies. Yeah, I know. Because they had a thing saying, like, apparently in the middle of that, they changed it to one copy, which it really should be. Because yeah. there's a lot of people that buy it and resell it online. So I paid 30 bucks a copy plus shipping. Uh, people are selling them for 90 bucks a copy on eBay the next second. Dude, that's fucking crazy. Wow. It's, it's, it's shitty. It's shady. But, yeah. you know, some people are desperate for a dollar. That's, yeah. yeah. People will make money any way they can. It's, yeah. 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 Have you, ever, have you ever paid more than retail price for a game, Dan? Have you ever... Like lined up to buy something. I have game related. Uh, no, um, I don't think I have. Okay, I have. Good. You know, I did spend a lot of time trying to track down a Wii back in the day. Oh yeah, yeah, um, that was a thing. Uh, actually, my friend Brian Sonic Clang was able to find one for me. But oh, he's uh, your friend now. Well, no, he's not my friend. <laughs> he's he's an asshole, and I, and I hope he sees this because Brian, yeah. don't take that shit. Yeah. Man. But yeah, so That's no, I've never stood in any lines. I stood in a line once to get Metallica tickets when the Load album came out. But uh, oh yeah, I stood yeah. in line at Great America. I stood in line. Um, oh, got Great America. You yeah, do that. I've had. I I have stood in lines, but never. There's for a whole ride video that's games. just you standing oh, in line. Yeah, sometimes at the grocery store. Um, uh-huh. Like when they had that special on the chicken. Yeah, the chicken. Uh, the, uh, the, the 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 yeah the chicken. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. When it's $1.99 a pound. You yeah, buy you chicken. buy the chicken as much as you can. Everybody comes best. out for that. Everybody yeah. wants the chicken. Yeah. Everybody it's almost as chicken. good of a deal as Night Trap for twenty nine ninety nine. Almost. Um, yeah, I'll have to see how much I can sell my copy for. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> do it. No, it's I'm going to play it. I'm going to um, play it because I yeah. actually never play it. We that, should so. probably let's play that. That might be a great first let's play for us. Mm-hmm. And you guys can... Uh, that would Watch be a good one. And play with us. <laughs> I think that one wow. would, uh, would play yeah. well. I would like to be involved with that. Oh well, uh, we can n- if I get to play with both of later. you. Yeah, you can yeah. play with both of us. Yeah, no, that's what I. Yeah, I, 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 I like the sound of that. So, so awesome yeah. night trap. We love you, and yeah. good job. Looking forward. I never played it. I always saw it at the shop ghost store. Same here. I always yeah. saw oh. it there. I'm like, I, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Kind of want to play it. Right. Not going to buy it. <laughs> yep. When that first came out, I couldn't afford a Sega CD. Yeah. I, you know, and that I was like. I didn't have it then either, or a 32X. So I, I just have to look at it. I almost bought a 32X when I was a child. You almost did. Almost. But right on. Yeah, I'm surprised I don't have one. And y'all got a 32X you want to donate? Okay. I do have a Sega CD. I don't you anybody do. knows what a 32X is. <laughs> well, it's that thing you stick in the top of the Sega Genesis, right? Oh, by golly. Danny J. Knows. Yeah, you, yeah. You take that Sega Genesis and you make it almost as good as a Sega Saturn with all these crazy attachments, right? Yeah, yep. and then it's that like is this right. big. It's yeah. like a North Star engine. Of, uh, it's know? like a mushroom that goes on top of the Genesis. The problem with all of that crap that I found, I was very excited about that. But then the Sega Genesis had a very limited color palette 
compared to the SNES. That's I don't know correct. if you remember. Like, if you look at the gradations in the sky from blue to light blue, there's like very, you can see the steps. And so then you take this, yep. all this a- extra fancy stuff, like the Sega Glass CD, and, the, and, and then you put it on there, but you still have this limited color palette. So I always found that distracting. I did too. Yeah. yeah. Genesis could display 64 colors, where Super Nintendo could display 256. Oh, at you the same actually time. know the color? Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness. But I, I would, if there was a choice between getting a game for the Genesis, like the same game uh, for Genesis Super Nintendo, I usually would try to get it for Super Nintendo because I knew that. You know, it had a higher color palette. Sames. Same thing? I had both. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, you might get better, you know, it had better transparency in, like, the Mode 7. The... But it's funny. Some games were made better for Genesis than Super. It just were. It just was. It yep. just is. It just, yeah, like he said, they I just I believe were. Earthworm Jim and, like, Aladdin. Aladdin was, was, Aladdin yeah, was way, Aladdin was way better. better. Genesis. Yes. It was Aladdin. a total different, total Aladdin. different game. Aladdin. Aladdin. Was a totally different game. Aladdin. Tom. Ah. Hi. Grab some beer, boy. All right. Are you guys <laughs> ready for beer number two? Have yeah. you guys ever considered not talking about beer or video games on this? Um, no. Like, I feel like you'd get more viewers if you talked about, like, home improvement. Or cars. Like the show? Yeah. Like, no, well, Tim not Allen? the Yeah, Tim Allen. The t- Tim Allen show <laughs> or just... Or just home improvement, hey, ho- improving really your home in general. It up today. Yes. Okay. We, we, uh... Sweet baby Jesus! Let's get it. Yeah, let's do it. This is another beer uh, I, I picked up on the on the East Coast from Duclaw Brewing. Duclaw Balti- Brewing, Baltimore, Maryland. Thanks for bringing this, Tom. Yeah, um, I really enjoyed this. Craft be cherished, rules be damned. Yes, wow. that's what it says on cap. It is a peanut butter porter, and it actually a chocolate peanut butter porter. Oh wow! And Ooh, it's got that smell. Yeah. Ooh, Give me your smell. glass. And I'm really. I'm really excited right now because I like to drink this beer. So there you go. That's what we're going to be drinking now. You pick up a whole six pack, or I picked up twelve uh, when I was out in Pennsylvania. Uh, we had to Thank you. play a wedding, yeah. and so I picked up uh, twelve there, and I drank two after the show, and then the people that hauled it back for me, fucking took like two bottles as like the tax for bringing it back what? oh Fuck. really so angry yeah just ridiculous so we got the sweet baby jesus yeah when you said that i thought it was just some name like uh from evil twin brewing which they have a bunch of jesus beers yeah i guess they're people, all dark. i guess people have made like something called even more jesus which yeah, is like, that's evil twin okay oh. which is a takeoff on jesus this. yeah the, there's like four varieties i think they have maybe more oh, all right it smells hey. like Smells Here's like the peanut, peanut butter. butter peanut butter jelly. So, I like peanut butter. Do you guys? All right. Hey, it smells uh, like Reese's uh, cereal. That that cereal that they. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Peanut butter jelly time. There you go. Yeah. Mm. It's delicious. It's quality. I like it a lot. I can dig it. Hey, everybody out there in Facebook land. A little more land. bitter than I thought it'd be, but yeah, I it's guess fine. Uh, yeah, it is. Um, definitely. It's good. It's it's got a nice aroma, a good head. Yes, like the mouthfeel is great. It's <laughs> great. Uh, everybody in Facebook land, are we skipping? I'm looking at our video, and we're kind of a little choppy out there. Oh my! Uh oh! Oh my! Crazy! Uh oh! Love crazy. Gun. Um. Yeah. Is that something to do with the internet? I don't know. I see a thing on there that says live video interrupted over on the monitor down there. Oh. Uh, Is that bad? Live video what? Interrupted. Girl interrupted. That's a movie. <sighs> it is. We don't need to talk about that movie. No, we don't. No. that's not beer video games, Danny. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. You guys talk amongst yourselves. Hey, uh, Danny. Yo. Um, what was the last game you played? The last game I played, I played, I played with, uh, I played a game with my daughter, Tyler Joe. Yeah. We you played, did. what is it called? Why can't <laughs> I remember? I brought it here today. It's over it's there. It's called Manhunt. Uh, Raymond Legends for the Wii U. Ooh, I heard that's a good game. It is a good game. I it's... almost picked it up on the PlayStation 4. Ooh. But yeah, that's a good game. Uh, it's good games to play with your children with your and children, or with your adults, or with your adults. Yeah, um, I have not played a Raymond game. 
I played a demo of a Rayman. I remember yeah. uh, the the original PlayStation had the first Rayman game. Um, maybe Saturn. I think too. so. Yeah. 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 Maybe Saturn. Maybe Saturn. Maybe Saturn. The fun thing about Rayman Legends is there's a couple music-inspired episodes where 